Okay, today's tutorial plan is um, to go through some of the previous quiz questions, which I've shared um, with you here um, in the notebook. Um, we'll go through um, as many as questions as possible. Um, so I'll do the calculations by hand. You don't need Mathematica for um, today's prep, although I have shared a, a notebook. Okay. All right, um, let's begin. I, I hope you have the questions with you, okay? I don't. I would not share the questions, but I'll share the cal calculations, okay? Okay, um, there is a general question Kai is asking. How much time would you suggest to invest in Mathematica? Hmm, it depends on the contents covered. Um, I think unless in your assignment questions, which asks you to use Mathematica, you don't need. I think I've addressed this question before. Okay, I'll share the screen. Okay, um, let's go through, like these questions cover like chapters one to three, like that's properties of sets, uh, logic, proof, lo and counting, linear algebra and matrices. Okay, um, so if you look at the first questions um, is on sets, you are given set U, um, containing elements from positive integers less than or equal to 10. Set A has, um, is a subset of U um, where every element is, where the elements are bigger than seven, B is given. First part is write out all the elements of U explicitly. So if you look at the first part, U equals X in C plus um, such that X is less than or equal to 10. Um, so these are positive integers, less than or equal to 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And Part B is write out all the elements of A. A equals A is a subset in U such that um, every element is bigger than seven. So eight, nine, 10. And C is what is A intersection B, which is a uh, a intersection B has common elements. So if you look at the set B, B is given as one, two, three. And that means common to both A and B. Okay, um, what would be your answer? Is there any element common? No. <laughs> empty set, yes. It's the empty set. You can write it like, like two curly brackets, or you can say this one, empty set symbol. And D is, what 
what is a union b a union b has everything in a everything in b without repetition um one two three that's b eight nine ten and part e it says asks you to set write down the set a complement intersection with b a complement is um whatever elements in u which is not in a so that's one two three four five up to seven and a complement intersection with the set b would be common to both a complement and b that's one two three which is the set b f cartesian product of a and b cartesian product says ordered pairs from a and b so an ordered pair is written within a, a round bracket so first element should be from a so and second element should be from b um remember a is A is eight, nine, ten, and B is one, two, three. Um, so you, you should write the ordered pairs. Um, the first one is from A, second entry is from B. So eight, one, eight, two, eight, three. And the next one, um, nine one, nine two, nine three. The next one, ten one, ten two, ten three. Um, the next one is next question part g write the elements of power set of b that's all the subsets of b all possible subsets of b um which is equal to um you should know how many elements should be there that's two to the power the number of elements in b which is three eight so you should get eight subsets Okay, um, which is subsets with what? One elements, one, two, three, subsets with two elements, one, two, one, three, and two, three, and subsets with three elements. One, two, three, and the last one is the empty set. Bar H is um, what is the cardinality, which is the number of elements in the power set, which we did just now. That's equal to two to the power the number of elements in B. Two to the power three equals eight. Um, that's question one. Um, is there a, is there a question? Okay, let's do question two. It's, it's again from sets. Um, so I'll go through the first three parts quickly, which is similar. Even D is similar. So in the quiz, 
we don't need reasoning for such questions. I don't think there are any other reasons beyond your what I have written here, beyond the walking. Okay, this should be fine if you can do something similar. Question two. The first part, okay, A is um, zero, one, two, three, and B is one, two, three, four. Um, and determine A union B. A union B is again common relevance. Um, so zero, one, two, three, and four. Um, B is a intersection. B, um, sorry, A union B is everything in A and B without repetition. A intersection B is common elements. So it's one, two, three. C is Cartesian product. A times B is the set of ordered pairs. Um, the elements of A comes first. So it's zero. One is from B and um, zero. Two is from B and zero. Um, three is from B and zero. Four is from B. Um, and we go this uh, again for when A is one, you go one, one, and all the way up to um, one, four. Okay, I have skipped listing all the ordered pairs in between, but in your quiz, please do not skip this part. And um, four, two, you go two, one, and all the way, Two, two, four, and again, three, one, all the way up to three, four. Part D is um, two to the power the number of elements in A, which is two to the power four elements are there. Equal to sixteen. He is um, asking you to find uh, C is a subset of A such that the number of elements in C is three. Um, complement that with C is an element of the power set of A and the number of elements in C is again three. What, what do you think is the answer? What, what do you think is the answer? Yeah, empty set should be the empty set because these two sets are the same. If you could write down the, and the number of elements in A, subsets of in A, which is number of subsets, subsets of A, which is has three elements, um, you could list down that as zero, one, two, and um, zero, one, three, and um, one, two, three. Okay, and complement this with the same thing in the power set. Um, that that would be zero, one, two, zero, one, three. 
one, two, three. This is the empty set. F is um, the cardinality, that's the number of elements in R is a subset of A times B. That means R is a relation in the Cartesian product. Um, yeah. um, R is a function. Okay, how many elements, what is that number? That's like counting how many binary relations on A and B are functions. So for each, for each element in A, um, there are four elements. In B. Yep. So this means so there are four times four to the power of four. This number is four to the power of four. All right, um, moving on to the next question. We have question three, which is from logic. Um, you're given the logical expression A or B um, and not a and B. Um, write the truth table for the above expression. Okay. Um, I have created the truth table, but it's um, you're welcome to create your own truth table. Um, this is just my way of doing this. So you can say A. B um, and A can have true and false. So there are four combinations for A and B. That's true, true. You can have a true and a false, um, false and true, and false and false. Okay. And for A or B, um, when this a or B true? When is A or B true? Anyone? Only when both are true? This is O. when one is true, 
Yeah, at least one is true. At least one is true. Okay, so um, the first row, um, both are true, so that should be true. Um, true, false should give you a true. And and true, false, true should be true. And false, false is false. And uh, the next one, A and B. Okay. When is A and B true? I think someone already gave when both are true, yeah. So that's the first row and um, that's false, false and true is false, false and false is false. Um, now you can do the not A and B. Now A and B is the complement of a and B. So that's false, true, true, true. And A or B um, and not A and B. Okay. Um, to, for the final column, you could look at the A or B column and then not A, A and B. Okay, so that one and that column. And it's an end in between, so that should be true if both are true. The, so true and false should be uh, false. And true and true should be true. True and true is true. False and true is False. The last column is FTTF. Okay. Um, what AB combinations should be included? Everything for a truth table has all possible combinations. I think usually. Did you mean the final column or the like did you mean like you don't you don't need this? These columns? Um um Kai I'm really not sure. Minus A. Like A can have true false, B can have true false. So all those combinations of A and B. Okay, here I, I wrote the columns depending on the statement, okay? Okay, the next part is part B. Write an expression using and or not that is logically equivalent to the above expression. So if you write, could write out, find out a similar uh, statement, um, which is logically equivalent means um, if you could write, if you could show that the truth table for that statement has the same truth values, um, these values that you are done. Okay. Um, for example, I've given some examples, um, and then if you could show that it is logically equivalent using the truth table, um, we should be fine. So in the case where um, I took AB and um, the, the last statement, which I wanna show that A and 
um, not the, sorry, not should be. I used to write not in another notation. Not. Not the O, not A, and B. If you want to show this, uh, I started with um, writing the combinations of A and B. True, false. False, true, and false, false. And the next one, you can have A and B, A and not B, and um, not A and B. And then the last one is the final statement. A and not B. O. Not A and B. Um, so filling in this truth table, um, I got the answers. For this column, it's false. Um, true, false, false. That column is uh, false, false, true, false. And the final one is um, comparing this and that with O. Um, which would be the first one should be false and comparing T and F, true, true, true and false. Okay, which is the same truth. Same as the last column of the previous table. Okay, so that's the logic question. Let's move on to question four. Okay, um, proof that do I take one, I goes from one to n equals n squared. Okay. Um, you can prove this using two methods. Um, I've suggested method one is uh, mathematical induction. Um, Because the question doesn't ask you to use any method, um, you can use mathematical induction or any other method. But if the question asks you to use mathematical induction, use mathematical induction. Okay, so in mathematical induction, there are three steps. Um, the first step is called basis step, okay, um, which is you show that, that the statement is true for Um, n equals one. Uh, that is, if you start from the left hand left hand side, um, which is i goes from one to n equals one. Two i take one, which is equal to um, two times one take one is um, one one squared, which is the right hand side. Okay, so true for n equals one, then the step, the next step is called your hypothesis step, that is assume. The statement is true for n equals k 
So that means, say, two i plus one, i goes from one to n equals k, um, which should be k squared. Then step three is um, the induction step, which is to show the statement is true for Um, n equals k plus one. So to show that it's true for k plus one, I'll start from the left hand side. Um, this is two i take one, um, i goes from one to n equals k plus one. This is equal to um, sum i goes from one. Um, n equals k to i take one plus the k plus one term, which is equal to, uh, sorry, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, it's a mistake. Um, this should be, what's the, yeah, n squared, so k squared. Okay. So that should be, Uh, so if you put k plus one, that's two times k plus one, take one. Okay. Um, in your step two, this part is given as k squared. So that's the from the assumption. So that's two k plus two, take one which is equal to k squared plus 2k um, plus one, that's equal to k plus one squared, um, which is the right-hand side um, for k plus one, n equals k plus one equals k plus one squared, okay? So therefore, um, you can conclude that by the principle that the induction Can we get the law equal to one? Okay. All right. Is everyone okay up to that part? To that. Okay, uh, moving to, on to the next question, um, question five. Oh, I forgot to do method two. So question four, you can use uh, another method. Um, method two is you can evaluate the sum. You can expand the sum. That is um, sum of I'll start from the ten side. Um, n i goes from one to n. Two i take one, which is equal to sum of uh, n i goes from one to i take sum goes from i goes from one, and that's equal to um, two is a constant in the first sum, so. That's two i n i goes from one minus um, that's n equals two. Um, and you should be familiar with this sum from your assignment. You have shown that 
that's equal to um, half n, n plus one k n. That's equal to n squared plus n equals to n squared, um, which is the right hand side. All right. Next question is again proof. Question five. Um, question five, we need to prove sum of k squared. Um, is equal to one over six n, n plus one, two n plus one, okay? Um, you can use mathematical induction. Okay. I, I, wouldn't write all this, uh, what the step one means, um, but I say, um, I'll say for n equals one, we have left hand side because um, it's given by k squared, which is equal to one squared. Okay, now if you look at the right hand side for n equals one, that's one by six um, times one, one plus one, uh, two times one plus one. This is equal to one by six times um, two times three, so six by six equals one. Um, which we can write as one squared. Um, therefore, true for the statement is true for n equals one. Okay. Um, now, step two is um, SU. K is true. Um, that means K goes from one to N equals K. Um, K squared. K squared is equal to um, one by six K K plus one K K plus one. Okay. I think that's true. Then step three is the induction step. Um, for n equals k plus one, we show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. K squared is equal to Um, sum of k squared k equals one to n equals k plus the last term, the k plus one term would be k plus one squared. This is the left hand side. This is equal to from our assumption, this part is one by six k, k plus one. 2k plus 1 uh, plus k plus 1, k plus 1. Okay. Um, now this, to show that this is equal to the right hand side, um, the right hand side with k plus 1 is um, k plus 1 is given by uh, 1 by 6. N is k plus one now. So it's k plus one 
n plus one is k plus one plus the one and two n plus one is two times k plus one plus the one. So that simplifies to one by six. K plus one um, k plus two. Two k plus three. Okay. So we need to show that the left hand side is equal to that expression. Okay, you can factorize this. Uh, k plus one is k two k plus one plus k plus one. That's equal to one by six k plus one two k squared plus um oh I forgot something it should be six. So simplifying that plus the six, which can be factorized to um, k plus two, two k plus three, which is the right hand side. Then you can do your conclusion. Um, therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the statement is true for n bigger than or equal to one. Okay. Write your conclusion here. Okay. I hope that's um, pretty easy. And is there any question up to that? Question six. Uh, question six is about counting. I I made an error in the first tute. So if you attended that tute, please do consider this. Um, there are three identical dice rolled with each six sides leveled, how many possible outcomes are there? Okay. This is like uh, identical, so the dice are indistinguishable. Um, so if, if you consider consider two dice first, okay. identical, okay. um, then that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Um, the possible combinations are one, 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 two, one, three, um, one, four, one, five, um, one, six. Okay. And this one is two, one, two, 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 three. Two, four, two, five, two, six, okay. and we go on up to um, six, 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 six. Okay, so that would be. Three, three. The next one will be um, four, four. The next one will be five, five, okay. and six, six. Okay. But if you compare this side with the one possible outcomes on on this side, okay, like two, one is because they are in identical one, two, and two, one. We don't consider that like the repetition. So there are 21 um, possible um, outcomes, uh, this different outcomes okay, from in identical dies. So in general, you can, you can say if there are six dies, you can use n plus k 
um, two with in this question n is equal to um, six k equals three so that would be six plus three get one three eight is three um this eight factorial divide by three factorial uh, five factorial yeah. you can compute this uh, and find the solution find the number of outcomes yeah, possible outcomes okay and question seven Question seven is linear algebra. You're given a matrices A and B. Uh, set matrix A is one, one, alpha, one. So the first part is asking um, set alpha is equal to minus one and determine the solution um, of the system of equations. This should be easy. As A, it's A in this case is one, one, minus one, one. That's one, go to one, one. So the first equation is x state y equals one x plus y equals one, one, two. So you say equation one plus equation two, you should get um, two x equals two, um, it means x equals one. You can sub x equals one into any of the equation, I said two, which gives you uh, one plus y equals one, y equals zero. So that's the first part. So x, y is equal to one zero. Part B is uh, determine the product a times A. A times B is um, for the general matrix given, one, one, alpha, one. One, which is equal to, um, you can do row by column multiplication, that's the dot product. One plus alpha. Alpha plus alpha. That's and the next one is. A times B is equal to should be easy. Uh, is given a, B is given as you may wish to factorize the um, 
and then compute the product. Okay, this should be the same. Um, let me do this. This is equal to and theta times. I put this as I'm skipping the steps here because um, we are on, we ran out of time. So that's equal to one take. I got it as one take alpha, one take alpha plus zero, zero. Please do check this. Okay. okay. Is there any question? It's already past our 50 minutes. Um, I will upload. I'll put the solutions and upload the document on GitHub. Okay, is there anything else that you would like to ask? These questions are from previous um, quiz questions and um, I meant to go through assignment four, assignment one question four as well. We didn't get much time. Okay. Any questions? No, if not. I need to stop the recording. Thanks for joining uh, today's tute. Uh, see you next week.